what am I trying to convey? Well, for starters, I, I am an artist who loves her environment and my work is representational, so I need a lot of subject matter. And when I'm not doing other, you know, still lives <clears throat> and whatever, I will then go to all the architectural buildings in whatever neighborhood I'm living in. In this case, over here we have a really good representation of what I'm going to try to present in the artist studio tour, which will be a myriad of iconic buildings around Maplewood and South Orange. And we have everything from storefronts to eateries to train stations to movie theaters. Uh, so what we sh what you will find represented is enough of these that when the viewers come in, hopefully they come in and they see the regular building they go to, the diamonds in the rough, the place where they get their bagel, the place where they take their train, uh, where they go buy their stationery, any of these places that we frequent day in and day out and we never pay any attention to them. In this case, I was challenged because Rick of Gas Gallery said, you know, try painting Gas Gallery because he could see I was going around painting various storefronts, which are my, my natural inclination is to go for the storefronts. I love the, the, what's inside of them. I love what's outside of them. And so hopefully I like to grab you on the front to say, here I am, this is what I am, and then I like to get you to come inside and see what's in there. This case, I, ha I had the opportunity to make up all the artwork in here, so I was inspired by Gas Gallery on all the artwork. A little bit of it has a little Elizabeth Winchester in there, I will say. But, you know, it just brightened up a storefront that's the most quiet gallery in town, but has a lot going on in it. Um, this one is, is from an earlier body of work where I was doing the West Village in, in New York. Um, it's Bedford Street, so I've done this several times under various weather conditions, whether it's in the snow, the spring. This looks like it was done in the spring. Um, not that I paint it in the spring, but it's during springtime so we don't have snow on the ground. Why do I love buildings so much? They're not trees. I don't particularly care for painting trees in nature. I, I do it as a way to frame a painting and bring it in, but it's not where my natural fluff of painting likes to go. I like to get the big bold, love the big bold blocks of color up against each other so I can create some definition and describe the building that I'm, I'm trying to portray. And with that, I'm hoping in the show that people are going to come in when they see everything. They get, it's like comfort food. They see these places where they go, like go get their bagel or buy their art, and they're, they have a warm fuzzy right then and there. And that's sort of what you get when you're dealing with your community. It creates this quiet little sense of warm fuzzy, you know, a place where we all go to home. And this, I hope, I hope the towns are represented well. I, I'll be curious to see them all up here at Gas Gallery because I've not seen the group together, so hopefully they will convey that.